We made it out to Clutch Kickers, round one, Freedom Factory. I'm gonna watch some laps just to see what this place looks like. Probably try to get a couple dry laps before this rain starts. Jam Jam went through a ringer to get this car running. Yeah, um, I had to change the oil. It was, Some spark plugs. he's lying. The car was broken when we tested it in Orlando, but they didn't realize it was broken. It had some issues. Yeah, it had some compression issues, I believe is what they call it. Compression issues. Not my fault, not related to me. I didn't do it. Not my fault, not related to me. I did not do it. Hey! That's what comes after that. Yeah, it wasn't your fault. Okay, but I mean, I wasn't the one driving when it blew up, so. <laughs> I mean, well, I drove it. It drove into the trailer, <laughs> so I wasn't driving when it yeah, blew up either. Yeah, I noticed when we got back, I was like, "This don't sound right." So before I even tore it apart, I went and got another motor to the machine shop to get it built. Yeah, we had to replace it. Not because of me. Tell them. Tell yeah. them. Tell them it wasn't because of me. It was. They swapped the motor this week, so the car should theoretically be making. A bit more power because it was floating valves. They were hung open. Hung open. Yeah. So it wasn't getting all the juice. The valves are no longer hung open. It is making all the juice. But now Jam Jam needs to check the tune and the Haltech, make sure it's okay. So I gotta go do a lap so he can log it. And then hopefully on that lap we don't blow it up. Yeah, because then it'll be a real short weekend. <laughs> we can borrow Alec Honnadale's Z. We got two of them. We should be fine. All right, let's go watch. Retiring from drifting. You watched five runs. I you watched retired. a couple runs. I retired. Clutch kickers has been real. Appreciate the opportunity to come out here. Sorry I didn't get a chance to do a lap, but uh, after a long uh, three hours, I've decided that my time is up. Pretty, pretty long and healthy career. A lot of good times, ups and downs. It's like I'm gonna go do this dry lap just to feel the car and stuff. It's gonna rain all weekend. Maybe it won't. Side lap, and I said no. So, all right, a little history. I've been here before. 
before this was Freedom Factory, it was called the Soto Speedway. So I've driven here, but I didn't do the bank. After I crashed my car, after I crashed my S14 a long time ago on the bank, I avoided banks at all costs. I was like, that's just not something I want to do again. Crashing sucks. And so now, 10 years later, I'm entering a competition series that is on a bank track. And now I'm like, man, maybe I should have tried to conquer my fears then. So I was prepared for this moment here. So yeah, here we are at a bank track running a competition with Formula Drift drivers. I don't know what to do with my hands. So, I don't know. We're just gonna have fun. If, as long as I keep saying this is all for fun, then whatever happens doesn't matter, right? Eh? Is that how that works, Drew? Are you being disingenuous that you're not gonna have fun? No, I, look, drifting is always fun. Is it more stressful than fun right now? It's a little stressful because of the challenge ahead. Every run I do is going to be a learning experience. And it's been a while since I've been challenged in drifting, you know? So, I just gotta fucking just do it. I just gotta do it. There was nothing intimidating about that at all. Everything's fine. Am I to understand correctly? I am the first qualifier uh, clutch kickers Why? in one because I'm probably the last person to register. So. <laughs> That's not even the case. Chelsea signed up yesterday. Oh, yeah. But he's Chelsea to Nova. Right. So, yeah, I'm first. <laughs> what a cruel joke. That'd be all right. We'll go practice, figure out how bad we are, and make the adjustments. I mean, do I really need to say it? Say what? Qualifying's not going to happen anyways. <laughs> Why? Oh, because of rain. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Don't worry about it. It's a fun practice for two, two dry hours. Yeah. It'd be nice to get some dry laps for sure. Really fucking feel the bank and the car. Just have a good time. Just uh, there's just so much information to process. I don't know. Maybe there'll be less info to process once I do a lap. Because, you know, I did my first dry lap. I processed. And I was like, all right. I know what to change for the next lap. And then the track condition changed, so, you know. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what to do, and uh, we'll let it rip.
practice session out of the way. I've never felt like this. I've been to drift events and I've been nervous and the, the jitters go away, you know, once I'm throwing the car in. And that happens here, like I'm like, I'm in line, I'm overthinking, I'm like, oh man, this is, you know, I'm not good at this. And then I go and throw it in, I make the run through the bank, and like every time I've gotten through the bank, and every time I felt better about it, and every time I'm going a little faster and throwing it a little harder, and, uh, and I'd say that last one was definitely my best bank run, um, just based on that, because I'm like, you remember how you asked me last time, do I get upset? I'm fucking mad at myself right now, like, because it's not a, I know the car can do it. It's a, just breaking through the threshold that it's okay to push a little farther and throw it a little harder. The car makes grip, the way the banks are set up, you're going to initiate and point this way, and if you stay in it, you're going to, you know, I don't know, it, it, just throw the car and throw it, you know? So. I'm a little, I was upset at myself in the last run, I was, or before that last run, because I was like, yeah, I keep making the same stupid mistakes, putting the car in the same place, so I may as well put it somewhere else. I'm just learning. I'm trying to learn. Um, I think I'm learning, but I just want it to be natural, and it doesn't feel natural yet. I'm confident in the car. I, I, I don't want to wreck the car either. You know, like, even though Ant, Jam Jam, and these guys, they... They say they don't care, and I know they don't really care, but there's just, wrecking cars sucks. Like, I get it, they can, they have the means to fix it, they have, you know, but it's just something inside me. I don't, I'm, I don't want to fucking crash. So I don't want to, like, overextend myself for no reason. I'd rather dial it in slower than going over. Qualifying's coming up. I have not made it successfully around the track once. That center section has just been kicking my ass. Um, we're going to do a gear change because this is a race car. And I explained to him what I was dealing with. He was like, you know, we can just change the gearing. And I was like, oh, it's a race car. Hopefully the car doesn't feel too different. It's a risky move, but I haven't made it around the track, so it doesn't matter anyway. I don't know. I'm not defeated yet. <laughs> I saw the wall coming, I was like, well, at this point, 
I just have to pour it. I've never done that before. I've never walled up like anything in my life. Well, I did one time, but it was not a good. It's not a good. Oh man, that was so good. Dude, let's go watch Brandon. Yeah. Let's go watch Brandon. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. It felt like a movie. The bobble, I bobbled a little bit on the bank, and I was like, no. Who did? Boy, slinging it. Oh, that felt so fucking cool. Driver's meeting just happened. It's raining. It's not stopping raining. So they got seven or eight qualifying laps in, and then uh, it got really bad out there. So they. Have... It's posted already. I do. Are you kidding? I got a random buy. No, you're you're. Let me see. Don't play with me. You're playing with me. Number one. What? <laughs> You're kidding right now. Hey, you made it into the 32, man. All right, so let me finish updating you. Um, <laughs> it started raining. They couldn't run cars. The concrete burnout pad for the Freedom Factory Cletus and Cars things is way too slick to drive on when it's any bit of wet. And it's not stopping raining, and the rest of the people can't qualify in these conditions. So they've axed all qualifying scores, so mine didn't matter. Dirk Stratton's 91 didn't matter, and they decided to do a random generator to qualify everyone who's here, so that we can at least have, hopefully, have an event. So they did a random qualifying generator. You saw that there, number one qualifier here. You know, I worked really hard for that. They're hoping it stops raining so they can try to clean off the track, which takes about an hour. So they're gonna push us to the latest 11:30 if they have to. I know, and then, and then push us as early as 7:30 tomorrow to try to finish it before this starts again. So, we're just playing a waiting game to see if it stops raining. If it stops raining, an hour to clean the track and then they're gonna run as much of top 64 as they can. Hopefully all of it, we'll see. But hey, I don't care, I'm not in it. I'm 33, so. Number one qualifier checking in here, clutch kickers at Freedom Factory. You know, perks of being uh, number one, you get a buy run, so I don't have to do anything in top 64, but uh, because of weather, things got pushed along. So there's no practice today, which really bums me out because my only successful pass was my qualifying pass. So now I have to somehow keep it together for another battle, hopefully, because hope, Literally every lap I've done, I've learned, and I've pushed harder. And in my qualifying lap, I just kind of threw it at the wall, literally. Just, I was like, well, it's all or nothing, and it worked. But it could have been way better. It wasn't the best run. I just get sketched out thinking about that end field now. The bank doesn't necessarily sketch me out. It's still scary, but the Juke Racing R32 is literally amazing. Like, you explore it, it's so fast, it stays away. We're battling George from Monster Garage. In the top 32. I can't practice, so I'm gonna watch, and that's gonna be my practice. I just want two laps of practice, but I'm really happy with the way this has gone because I mean, you guys saw I don't like banks, I'm not comfortable in banks. I've been really stressed out about this, and luckily, I'm kind of conquering it. I haven't actually battled anyone because you know, I'm a qualifier, maybe we will go. It's gonna be interesting putting it in battle now. So, my lead run, I should be able to keep it together. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I can put it together um, for my lead and then hopefully I can chase all right. Hopefully I just, hopefully I can just not suck for, <laughs> I'm okay. Let's go watch some drifting. This isn't coffee, I don't drink coffee. It's a matcha tea. 
man I felt I'll great I felt I that first lead run in top 32 yeah, yeah. I felt fucking great I felt great on the bank I felt great coming off the bank I felt great coming across that inner clip I felt great going into that outer zone I just gave it too much sauce the boy was cooking but I'm not even mad because that was shaping up to be one of my best runs ever in that car it was the best run ever in that car that I had so it's like I'm feeling the car. I'm starting to understand the car. It's all starting to come together. But I dropped the ball. I spun on the lead, and then he spun on his lead, and I could have finished the run, but I, I don't know what I did. I was waiting for him, you know, as he was washing out. And then I dumped the clutch, and I snapped over steered, and I spun. But if I would have just made it through that, I think I would have won. But, and then after that, the car, um, the car and I didn't feel. In tune, like I was, my next bank run, it was I was washing out a lot, or I don't know, too much front grip or something. I'm not sure what happened. After we watch your videos to put it together, but what do you blame it on exactly? I said I dropped the ball. Oh, okay, good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the first step, man. Accepting. I dropped the ball, and Brandon's car is really slow. So, <laughs> so that's why we didn't win wow. this weekend. Today was a great day. Um, this weekend was a great weekend. Before we started, I could, I couldn't do the bank. Now I feel pretty damn good on the bank. I'm starting to really understand this car. So it was a good first competition. I'm excited to do more. So yeah, it's all seat time, all fun. I'm here for all five rounds. So, you know, it's gonna come as it comes. We're just gonna keep getting after it. Man, Clutch Kickers puts on a good show. They uh, they made adjustments to, to get us through the rain. And uh, we did top 64 through the final right now. Congrats to Adam LZ for taking it home. Um, that dude's a savage. There's so many savages here. That's ridiculous. So it's exciting to work my way up to hopefully be as good as some of those guys, especially this guy right here. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks,
I wish I wish I'm uh like I'm a little sad that I threw it away like that, but I'm really happy how much better I've gotten in this car. So it's hard to be upset when I'm making progression, you know? I wanna be better than I am too fast. I gotta just take it as it comes. So until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Clutch Kickers. I'm assuming Drew is putting a banger in either before or after this montage. I'm gonna try to keep these vlogs coming for you.